Who are you and where are you from? I'm Kennedy Sullivan and I'm from Westminster. I'm Christopher Bakley, I'm from Westminster. Hello, my name is Shahem Sol. I'm from a small town in Jordan, in the Middle East. I'm Denia Franklin from Calhoun, Louisiana. My name is Kosuke Shin and I was born in Japan in a state called Ibaraki. We wanted to make a project that allows students to share their unique cultures, identities, and traditions, as well as identifying some challenges that they may have faced in this environment. What were some challenges that you faced? So, you know, when I came out, it's like I had to learn how to completely fit in again. Mm -hmm. I started getting, I became friends with the wrong people that did a lot of wrong things. And since I wanted to fit in again, I started vaping, drinking, partying, doing all that stuff just to try to fit in with them again and it was just a horrible time in my life. A big challenge I had to overcome was whenever I was first like coming to high school I I really struggled with like fitting in and I was really scared that I wasn't going to and whenever I got to high school I was just like surrounded by a big community of nice people and I kind of realized that like it's not that I didn't fit in it's that I just hadn't found the right people yet and ever since then, I've kind of kind of grown from that, finding the right people. One of the challenges that I had to overcome when I moved to Louisiana was just learning English because obviously I didn't know English since I was in Japan and uh, everybody spoke English. And my staying in the U.S. for about 10 months was a great experience. I've came across a lot of new things as well as some challenges, such as the language barrier at the beginning, because even though I had pretty good English skills and knowledge, speaking to native speakers in their language isn't like learning a language and not practicing it at all. We asked them all similar questions with few exceptions about unique traditions and backgrounds and are interested to see how they differ. It was important to us that we shed light on a voice often unheard in society and possibly shed light to an issue that we as society can change in the future. So what was it like growing up and how do you feel accepted now? So growing up just in the area of Monroe, West Monroe, Louisiana, it, I've always heard you're not like it's wrong to be gay you can't be gay it's weird it's bad you can't be gay you're gonna go to hell etc etc but you know i learned when i came out i found people who supported me i found people who continue to support me on a daily basis and those are the people that i choose to spend my time with and they accept me for who i am i feel pretty accepted in this environment there are things that i don't feel accepted in but majority i do what are some words you would use to describe your peers? I think a word that describes my peers is kind. I think that we're all really different, but at the same time, we're like deep down all really similar. And I think that we have like a great sense of community here. And I describe the teens who are of the same age as me in America to be somewhat similar to teenagers here in Jordan. Um, I've had pretty great interactions. You can see the good and the bad. But overall, I haven't faced any major problems. And I think the only difference I can say is, is that the, what culture and tradition influence in the overall mindset of a teenager. A unique tradition that I have brought from Japan to Louisiana was uh, this thing we do at July 7th which is when, well, in Japan, we would write our goals on a piece of paper and hang it on a bamboo, but there's no bamboos in Louisiana, so uh, now we just hang it on trees. I also got to bring some of my culture and traditions to America to share with people, uh, such as the traditional Arabian wear and food, which was a lot of fun to see people's reaction to trying it. This project was not only about the students being interviewed, but also us as the audience. Just because somebody's perspective seems foreign at first, or just because their traditions differ from ours, does not mean the people within that tradition are so inherently different after all.